And I, I'll use this as a good example of a necessary. So we do, we yeah. have a mastermind group that we manage in the HVAC industry. And so, you know, heating and air is kind of one of those things you need. When you're hot, you need them. When mm -hmm. you're cold, you mm -hmm. need them. Mm -hmm. This group, about a hundred million of revenue that's in that mastermind group, they're up 66% over the last three years. Now, they're only up maybe 10% in headcount. So right. I, all it is is and now their their profits aren't egregious. Their profits are normal. They've had six, they've had essentially 56% inflation of labor costs going up, right. their material costs going up, their operating expenses have gone up. Everything's gone on a bit roughly the same rate. And so they just happen to be an industry that can pass through the, the their cost input into price increases to stay at this maintenance level of profitability. Right. And this is this is what always galls me. You know, when you got people in the media talk about, oh, you know, oh, you know, they're these greedy, you know, people going for profit. These are people that have never run a business because the market will not let you get an egregious amount of profit right. in 99.9% right. .9 of the cases. You know, there's a, there's a point that when you get egregious, the wolves come in and say, yeah. Hey, let's a competitor is going to come in and take an opportunity. And yes. Yeah, that's right. And, and so, but we, so see in that case, so you're saying that their, their costs have basically gone up comparable to that 60 ish percent exactly exactly and and they've just increased their revenues to pass through the cost in theory it might not even be much more right. more customers more invoices it's almost like it's a, it's a flow through of the cost in the system exactly now, generally yeah 